Hello guys, I'm Nintendugo. Today I will show you how to install Toilet Menu Plus Plus. I know I already have a tutorial on that on my channel, but Rob Tate, the creator of Toilet Menu, dropped an update and now the method has slightly changed. So I will cover it all and today I will show you how to install the updated version of Toilet Menu Plus Plus. Before we start, I would like to say that I obtained my ROM through dumping this cartridge. I didn't download it from the internet. We are going to do two things before starting installing CIAs and doing that stuff. We are going to select, to hold select on boot, sorry, and to make sure that enable game patching is enabled. <laughs> if not, just press A on that and then press start. Now with the help of FBI we are going to delete anything that is related to toilet menu, SR loader, TWB loader just to make sure that mm, that isn't mm, making the updated toilet menu plus plus mm, not to work. So we are going to open FBI, titles, wait until the full list is loaded and press up on the d-pad. Here in blue color you will see if you have ever installed Toilet Menu or SR Loader or TWB Loader you will see some blue titles that have those names just press on them and press delete do not delete anything that is in red or mm, anything that is in blue and has a strange name just to make sure you don't screw things up so don't delete this, these two ones, Download Play or Nintendo DSi, just delete the ones that have Toilet Menu or TWB Loader or SR Loader name on it. Now that you have done that, we are going to transfer some files to the SD card. I will do it with an FTP client, but as always you can use any method that you like to transfer files to your SD card. I will also use my tablet. You can use your computer, anything that you like, but make sure that you can transfer files to your SD card. We are going to navigate to this URL that will be linked in the description, scroll down where it says download, and we are going to download this. Not the source code, not the other source code, just this. and we are going to follow these steps. Now, before transferring anything to SD card, as it is a .7 set package, you will need to extract it. So, use the file structure that you like. On Android, I like to use Set Archiver, on computer, WinRAR. Sorry if the camera starts to go nuts here, but I can't do anything since the background is black color, so sorry about that. We are going to copy downscore NDS to the root of, SD, of the SD card. I have already done that, so I don't need to. And then navigate here, 3ds custom firmware users, and Copy these two CIAs to anywhere on your SD card. Now they are here on the root and I can disconnect the FTP app. Oh. And return to the 3DS. Here I'm going to open FBI and install the two CIAs that we just transferred. Once you have done that, make sure that you have some ROMs on your SD card I have this one that I dumped inside ROMs and this. Here it is. 
and return to the home menu. A new app should mm, have been installed if it doesn't, like for me, just hold the power button and press home. And now there it is. Open it. And now here we have to select the console that we are using. You have three options. Nintendo DSi, Dev Unit, all 3DS. Please notice that all 3DS also includes the normal 2DS or new 3DS. That also includes new 2DS. As I'm running a new 3DS Excel, I will select this option. Here you can navigate to the folder that you have the ROM in, and there it is, Pokemon Pearl Edition. Per se, to open it, just as if you were in a normal DSi or Nintendo DS. Well, the DS didn't have this menu, so just if you were in a normal DSi or DSi Excel. And the game launches perfectly. Please notice that not all the games are compatible. If you are planning to to play a game and do download the European version for example because you have the European cartridge and it doesn't work, I suggest you to try with the USA version ROM because you own the cartridge not because you are pirating so you can see that this works perfectly I'm just going to close it and I will see you next week or this weekend I don't know with the NTR boot tutorial I will show you how to install NTR boot or Good custom firmware, and it has like two names. How to install it in the latest version, 11.9. See you!